Let us now write down these cells and their other names and secretions. The first one which we wrote there, that is goblet cells, they secrete mucus. And this mucus is thick and it makes a thick lining over this mucosa layer. And that is how our uh, stomach lining is protected from acids and the enzymes. The second one that is oxentic cells. Oxentic cells are also known as parietal cells and they secrete hydrochloric acid and a factor which is known as Castle's intrinsic factor. And we need to understand the functions also of all these parts. We talked about mucus. So here we can write it protects the stomach lining from hydrochloric acid. Coming to hydrochloric acid, it has many functions. Hydrochloric acid is going to provide pH for enzyme action for the enzymes to act the proper pH would be provided by hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid kills the germs in food that is also done by this and it is also going to activate the enzymes. So these are the functions of hydrochloric plus we also say that it softens the food. Now coming to the next thing which is secreted by oxentic or parietal cells that is Castle's intrinsic factor. It helps in absorption of vitamin B12 that is cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin. So its absorption is helped by this factor. The third cells which we have written here are chief cells. Chief cells are also known as peptic cells or they are called zymogen cells. They secrete the enzymes. Secrete enzymes. Which enzymes are secreted? First is pepsinogen. It is inactive pepsin. All enzymes are secreted in their inactive form. So it is pepsinogen. We can write it is inactive pepsin. And here we have written that hydrochloric acid is going to activate this pepsinogen into pepsin when the food comes into the stomach. The second enzyme is pro-renin. This is inactive renin which acts on the milk protein. And third, there is a mild gastric lipase. Mild gastric lipase. And when we come to the process of digestion, we will understand why we are calling it a mild enzyme. Pepsin is going to act on all proteins and digestion. Renin acts on the milk protein that is casein. And mild lipase is actually its action is negligible. It is a strong enzyme but it is not getting the proper conditions to work here. And that is why we call it a mild enzyme. The next cell which we have written there, the fourth one, are argentafen cells. Argentafen cells. They secrete or they contain a substance called serotonin. Secrete serotonin and help in contraction of the muscles of the stomach. Fifth cell that is G cell, 
These are endocrine cells. They are endocrine and they secrete a local hormone called gastrin. Secrete gastrin. It is a local hormone which is going to stimulate the secretion of all other cells of the gastric glands. And the sixth one which we have written, these are basal cells. Basal cells are actually the precursors. They are going to give rise to all other cells of the gastric glands. So they produce the cells of gastric glands. So this is the function of all different types of cells which are present. Let us again quickly understand the gastric gland. It is found in mucosa. This mucosa undergoes infolding and that is how this gland is formed. It is a simple branched tubular gland. Tube-like and there are simple branchings. That is why simple branch tubular gland. The cells which are present, mucus cells, which are also called goblet cells, and they secrete thick mucus. Oxentic cells are there. That is these ones, which are larger cells, oxentic cells. And we have drawn it here, but they are also found on the lower side. But their number is main or more in the uh, neck region. Then there are G cells, chief cells, argentafin cells and basal cells and we have seen the functions of all these cells. Now coming to the complete secretion of all these cells together is known as gastric juice. So now let us take up the composition of gastric juice. Let us see the composition of gastric juice. It actually is made up of all the secretions of various glands which are there or with various cells which are there here. So it has hydrochloric acid. It has pepsinogen. It is inactive pepsin. It has inactive renin also which is called pro-renin. And one more enzyme that is mild lipase. Then the secretion of G cell that is gastric. It also has the intrinsic factor of castle or which is also known as castle's intrinsic factor. So there are enzymes there is hydrochloric acid and there is mucus. This is all which is present in the gastric juice. The pH of gastric juice, it is highly acidic because of this hydrochloric acid. It ranges from 1.2 to 1.8. That means it's a very, very acidic uh, pH. Volume of gastric juice gastric juice. Volume of gastric juice per day is about 2 to 3 liters per day. That is the volume of gastric juice which is produced and normally its stimulation of secretion of gastric juice is under nervous control and even when we see food then also there is gastric juice which is produced. Now this is what is seen in case of uh, human beings. Ruminating animals have compound stomach. This compound stomach, it has four compartments and these compartments are known as rumen which is also known as pouch. Then second is reticulum which is also known as honeycomb. The third is called omesum, which is known as salterium. 
and the fourth compartment is abomasum which is also known as vene. Now in compound stomach which is seen in case of ruminating animals they have to digest cellulose. These two compartments that is rumen and reticulum they harbor symbiotic bacteria. So they have symbiotic bacteria like ruminococcus. So this is one type of bacterium and this bacterium produces cellulase. No animal can digest cellulose on its own. If at all certain animals are able to digest cellulose, they are able to do it with the help of some symbiotic microorganisms. So in case of ruminating animals like cows and buffaloes, the rumen and reticulum parts of the stomach, they harbor or have symbiotic bacteria like ruminococcus. And what ruminococcus does is it secretes cellulase, the enzyme which helps in cellulose digestion. Then next is this omesum. Omesum helps in absorption of bicarbonate ions and water. This particular compartment is absent in some animals like camels. And the third last one that is abomasum. This is the true stomach. And true stomach means here hydrochloric acid and enzymes are secreted. So hydrochloric enzyme, oh sorry, hydrochloric acid and enzymes like pepsin and all are secreted in this chamber or compartment. So our stomach, though it has parts like fundus, cardiac, pyloric and all, but here there are separate compartments. So food when comes into rumen and reticulum, here it is uh, mixed with uh, the enzyme that is produced by the ruminococcus bacteria. And these animals, they regurgitate. They bring it back into the buccal cavity, again chew it. So they continuously keep chewing it till all that cellulose which they're uh, chewing gets mixed up with this enzyme. It comes into uh, omesum here the bicarbonate and water will be absorbed and this is the place where actual digestion process takes place and that is why this stomach which is found in ruminating animals is known as compound stomach. So our stomach has gastric glands which produces all uh, different juices or all different things which are there. pH is highly acidic. In case of ruminating animals, first two compartments are just going to help in cellulose digestion with the help of this bacterium and the actual digestion of other things would take place in abomasum. So this is uh, about stomach and after this we will take up the small intestine.